Hey everybody, we are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Donna. <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> Welcome to our world of chaos. Oh my goodness. It is. What day is it? It's Friday. We don't even know. It's Friday. We have so many different things going on and so many different directions being pulled. <laughs> Somebody commented, I, I, we've seen the comment a few times. Uh, I know there's a couple people that like say, I'm not sure how you get everything done. And at this point in our life, I'm not sure how we're going to get everything done for the next week, but we're going to do it. We always do. Because we always do. Somehow. Uh, we have and a few things to... we have special forces coming in for the garage sale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My mom's coming. Yep. Her mom is coming from Arkansas to help with the garage sale. And Kurt. And Kurt. And, and our friends are going to help. Yes. So. And that is one week from tomorrow. But we have so much stuff going on between now and then. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Uh, we have a few things to show you. We have some souls. We don't have a lot. We only have seven things to show you that sold. However, five of them were listed in the last week. So is your eBay store moving slow? Would you like your eBay store to sell more? What should you do, Donna? Break your foot. <laughs> List more things and then they will sell. And yes, Donna broke her foot. Let's see your new lovely hardware. Oh, hang on. Look at, yeah, don't fall over and break your other foot. Isn't that nice? <laughs> She's got a pair of Reebok pumps. Actually, she has one Reebok pump. <laughs> I don't know if it's Reebok or uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got a lot of things to get into, so let's get into it. Okay. First of all, as Donna hops along over back over here. <laughs> Uh, I give her a hard time when she's healthy. I'm not gonna do, not gonna pass it up when she's not. Listen. Listen. We went to a stay sale and we found a few things. Oh yeah. One dollar. Look at that, baby. Look at this. That's a Sony AM radio. FM radio cassette recorder, and this sucker. I think there may she maybe should have been plastic over it, but it is not. Well, but everything is taped. I right took here. it out. Yeah, there is. There's like foam on the sides. And it's taped here. I took this out and looked it all over and it is brand spanking new. It has still has the tape over the cassette doors. The board, the tape is still on the package of the electrical yeah. thing. So that is brand new. I did pay up for this. I paid $30, but I think it, I'm going to list it probably for 90 or 100 and I think it'll go for 80 to $90. Nice. So that's cool. You also um, found we, these little... Yeah, we it. bought a lot of little, little things. School supplies. Um, these we paid two dollars two dollars these we paid like 50 cents or dollar something but this 50 cents but this will sell for like 10 to 15 dollars these will sell for like 15 dollars a piece so just a lot of little stuff here and there but it's easy it's quick to list it's quick easy to store um she got a whole bundle of stuff oh yeah here's we got a bolo for you we've sold before that you may not know about it's these kitty cat things yeah, so these are generic brand here, but the Frontline Plus Cats, we've actually sold these before that we found in free boxes because they didn't have cats anymore, so put them in free boxes. Frontline for cats, for pets, whatever. These things sell for like 30 bucks, and we got it for $2. So if you ever see Frontline items, now, now these, these are, are like generic brand. So we'll do an eat, take them out and do each? Yeah, I think so, because each one, I think it sells for like 10 to $15. So um so yeah watch out for frontline and then she got a few uh here's the daddy daddy pipe here's the teenage pipe and then here's the the uh baby pipe no That's this weird. is the mama <laughs> pipe because okay. it goes on a necklace and hides oh you hide your pipe. <laughs> yes. no and uh, yeah and then just a cool carnival glass looks like ashtray she picked up just yeah for fun yep and then we've sold one of these before these are the ones that the leaves yeah yeah and it's... they didn't have the leaf and one didn't have one had one leaf and part of a stem stem but this one's complete so I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit got him for two dollars yes and then we got a whole bunch of these this is the only one that's wrapped and new the rest of them some are new unwrapped some are used a little tiny bit used but we got two cases of them and yeah she got a good deal on that i don't remember how much but do you know how much they sell for roughly just get trying to remember. wasn't it four for 15 or something like that it so we'll been. group them together so she may new, have paid so. like a dollar a piece um she kind of gave her a bundle deal for buying all of them mm -hmm. so 
So yeah, so that's just some of the things that we picked up at the estate sale. Very cool estate sale. So if you don't know what all is going on in our life, this is kind of nuts. So today we're going to show you the things that sold. We're going to show you uh, a little buyout that we did before Planes of Profit. We haven't even looked at it yet. Anthony reached out to Donna through the Happy Heart Treasures page and asked if we were interested. Said he's kind of given up on the eBay, but he still likes the thrift. So we had some totes of clothing and wanted to know if we were interested. So we actually went over there. We paid him $30 for it. We're going to go through them. We haven't looked at them at all yet. And we're going to go through them and just see what we got in there. Um, and then I'm going to list today. I'm, I'm making... A promise to myself to Donna she's shaking her head because I've done this a few times no, like I'm said like, I was oh. gonna do it <laughs> I'm going to list the one thing that we've had the longest that I've been putting off listing just because it's kind of a pain but I don't know why I haven't listed it it's it's large it's unique I even have a box for it I've had since I think since I worked at Pepsi it's been here since before I quit my job what are you talking about it's downstairs on the top of the rack. Anyway, I made a short about it a few weeks ago. Said I was going to list it, and I didn't do it. I am doing it today. Period. I know what it is. There you go. Um, and we have a tax appointment at 2 o'clock. I'm not excited about that. Donna is. I just don't enjoy that kind of stuff. She's excited to have it done and over with. Yeah. Um, and then getting ready for the garage sale. This is Donna's chaos. Everything here is all a garage sale. This stuff we just brought back from storage yesterday. She's going to, we're going to, she's going to sort through it. I carry boxes for her now, especially. She's going to sort through this, but this is all these totes. I mean, you probably can't see how much there is here, but it's all garage sale. And then back here, there's the totes we're going to go through from Anthony. This is some stuff I think needs to go to storage. So we're working on that. Tomorrow morning, we go short trip out of town some people uh have a house that they're cleaning out um and they were going to take it all to goodwill and they contacted us and said are you interested and we're like well absolutely so we're going to do that in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon i have what might be i don't know i think it's going to be a good deal i'm buying kind of an expensive buyout i'm paying 700 dollars and we're actually, I'll, we'll cover that and show stuff in the next video we do, I think is going to be for this buyout. Um, little nervous about it, but no, not really. I just, fun. it will be fun. And I think it's going to be well worth it, but it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I'll give you a hint. Half the stuff in the buyout is stuff that I really don't like because they make boxes very, very heavy. Okay. But we'll go over that next video. So, and then there's a possibility, slight possibility, little bitty possibility, but there's a slight possibility we might have a large clean out to do like next week as we actually get ready for the garage sale too. I don't know if it's going to happen and I don't know how we're going to do it, but if it happens, we're going to do it. Donna, is there anything you would like to show people from today? <laughs> First of all, everybody, <clears throat> like and subscribe if you like to follow along in our life, our crazy thrifting, reselling life. Yes. Um, we have dollar auction customers and they come to our house to pick up their dollar auction purchases. And so this morning we had an incident. I have rearranged my yard by putting a pot on the corner to keep people off my grass because they were making a big hole in the grass. So right there come and see yep so people had been driving on the grass so we usually parked on the half of the driveway and people have been driving on the grass and they made a big hole and so it would be full of mud and water so what we started to do was parking in the middle of the driveway so that people can just pull up in the back of the driveway and run up here and park in all this empty open space and park in all this empty open space yeah. now we are not we are not going to post the video of this happening or any pictures because and we're not mad about and we're not it. mad about it's it because one of those dings, like yeah, the happens. person this morning they might not watch the videos and so we're not calling anybody out or anything but so donna put this pot here to see, protect the corner see the tracks coming so yeah, you see the tire i put tracks. a brick under there and i put my pot here but this morning somebody ran into my pot and squished it and pushed it over like this and then put it back like this <clears throat> now, now, now the funny thing is I told Donna when she put it out here I said 
you need to paint it yellow because people ain't gonna see it and they're gonna hit it. This is the second person to hit this pot. I'm gonna and paint this, a bullseye in it. <laughs> this morning I said you should have painted it yellow and she said, I'm gonna paint a bullseye on it. <laughs> well, you know, when you put something somewhere for somebody to do, they usually don't do it. So I'm gonna put a bullseye on it and then we'll hit. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna put pretty flowers in there this year. You know, yeah. I thought about actually putting pots all along here, but maybe but not. Probably not. Uh, I did think about maybe putting them sticks with like the reflector thing or something or little flags at buy, each corner. Buy a pack of 12. <laughs> buy a pack of 12, line the driveway. So if you are watching this video, we're not mad about it. No, but it's just funny. It's, it's, just funny. it's just funny and we saw the video and we're like, what the heck? And yeah, whatever. Stuff happens like Donna breaking her foot. Yeah. All right, Donna, should we get into the little bit of what sold? <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. We have seven things and they're all small. Look at this. How easy is this going to be to ship? But like I said, five of these were listed in the last week. Yes. I listed this when we got back from Plains to Profit. And I listed it higher, but then I realized that there's a little tiny crack on both sides because it's made of plastic. So I reduced it and it sold this morning for $23.99. $23.99. Then we were talking trolls and if you just talk about it or touch it or look at it it sells so this little troll sold for 15.99 15.99 now she got it at a garage sale yes where'd you get the first thing um it was from a buyout or from a clean out okay this we found in the goodwill bins it is a susan joy leather wallet you can put money in or cards in or whatnot anyway it sold for 12.99 got it at the bin so probably cost us oh not much 50 cents if that if that and then steve oh another funny story we have lots of funny ironic stories steve got a new pair of bowling shoes and he really likes the bottoms of his other shoes so he took his old bottoms put them with his new shoes and the same day that that these sold so i listed these they're replacement bottoms they have a little bit of wear just because i went and tried to break them in and i realized i could use my old bottoms i don't have never had to switch bottoms before so i listed these on ebay about four or five days ago and then wednesday night i went to bowling and wednesday night the day it sold it sold like two hours before bowling and then that night on my bowling shoes i caught my toe and i found there's a little crack and the thing started peeling off the end. So, I have one listed. I would have just pulled it off and used it, but it sold. <laughs> so I had a dilemma. But what I ended up doing is I'm gonna mail this to the people that bought it. They sold for $12.99, I think, or $13.99 for that set. Yep. And then I actually have a gift card to the bowling alley that I just got last week from the 300 game I bowled. It's Woo my first one, so you get a $100 gift card to the store, to the bowling alley. So I'm just going to buy a new one instead of canceling an order that somebody bought. So okay. my own stupid, dumb decision. Anyway, we got this when we went thrifting with Plains to Profit. This was at the Yester, uh, Forever Yesterday store. Yes. Last minute purchase, and it was a dollar. Yeah, we got it for a dollar, and it sold and for seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, very cool. They sell for about twenty five to thirty if they have the box, but so I put seventeen ninety nine, and it sold. And then this record sold. This was from a clean out a while back, and it's a John Mayall Mayall Looking Back album, and it sold for fifteen dollars and nineteen cents. And I just listed this since we've been back from Plains to Profit. It is a pink uh, depression glass cake plate. And it sold for? $24.99. That's it. So yeah, a nice easy day of shipping. That'll be quick, which I appreciate because we have so much going on. Um, so next up, we're going to jump into, let's do the, uh, just go through the stuff that we got from Anthony for $30 and see if it was worth it. All right, I apologize for the mess, but this is our life and it's constantly moving and changing. So you gotta deal with the mess. Okay, so Anthony reached out to Happy Heart Treasures. Yes. and. Trappin' Thrifts, is that what it was? Anthony is Trappin' Thrifts. He does have and a YouTube you channel. you can see that, his YouTube channel. Can it we is. put a link below? Oh, uh, we can put a link in the description. Okay, we'll put a link in the description. But Anthony is a very good thrifter, picker. Well, we, we think, we, we haven't we opened think, this. We haven't opened this. Um, but I've watched some of his videos and they're fun to watch. And he says, you know, he's got a channel, but he kind of lost, um, 
gumption because it doesn't really go. So he's got 500 subscribers. So you guys check him out. All right, he contacted me. He said 30 bucks for all this, which you can't really go wrong, right? Um, so I don't know what this is. He threw in the shoulder pads and the bat. I don't oh, know much shoulder about pads. shoulder pads, but I think I looked up the model and I think they're like 30 to 40 bucks. Right now. Uh, and, and then, then this then... bat, it's very, very lightweight. Louisville Slugger TPX, 29 inch. So I don't know, it's a composite bat. I don't know much about it. I haven't looked at it for cracks or anything like that, but but he threw that stuff in at the end. He's like, here, if you want it, take it. So we got three totes here. We're gonna have Donna go through one, then I'll go through one, then she'll go through the last one. Ooh, oh, look, look at there. this. Okay, so we've got a Pepsi shirt. Look at there. I Pepsi. know some people that might enjoy Pepsi Whoa, shirts. you keep going up and down, and up and down. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So Pepsi shirt says Forever 21 Men Pepsi. That's size large. Size large. All right, what else you got? These are seven jeans. Seven? Bling butt jeans. Bling butt jeans. All right. Um, I, I've not heard about seven before, but bling butt jeans do good. And this is an Adidas. That's a UNO Mavericks polo shirt. So that'd probably be for the booth because they're local to Omaha. Okay. This is a satin jacket. Man, I had a black satin jacket like that when King I was Louis young. Profit made in the USA satin jacket. That's vintage. What's the back got on it? Oh, I was trying to read it, but... TNC Lounge, totally into pool at 3245 Corner Square. Okay, so that's huh. local too. And then we have Polo, Banana Republic. Banana Republic. Canyon Trail Pearl Snap shirt. I can't. What's this? Spartan? Is that Lincoln East, maybe? I'm not sure if that's a local. That's a 4X. Local team thing. Ooh, Farmall. That's a good one for the booth. Yeah, definitely for the booth. And then this is an American, American Eagle. Eagle. I see the Eagle on the pocket. That looks like it'd be in good condition there. Yep. Nike, Nike Pro. Pro. These must be the compression pants, or are these just yeah, that's what exercise? It looks like. Auburn Bulldogs. This? Yeah, that's the LeBron James logo. So it's a Nike t-shirt, women's t-shirt, not LeBron James. That looks like an Iron Man hoodie. Is that what it is? Or is that Deadpool? That's a Deadpool hoodie. That's funny. We got like a Kiss one like that on eBay. Look well, at there. So, and then this is the back. That's kind of cool. And it's got the zip up hoodie where you zip it up and then you can still see through. It's got mesh. For so the you face. you can zip it up over your face and see through it. Yeah. That's, yeah. That is uh, Marvel Small. And then this one is really soft. Tommy Bahama. Oh, good. We like Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama always sells. Look at that. It does well. That's really soft. They say it doesn't sell as much as it used to, but I think all of our Tommy Bahama sells. This is a Marvel XL. Oh, the Punisher. Kind of cool tie-dye shirt there. It's a modern screen print tag, but that's a cool shirt. That's definitely going to the booth, too. Okay. We get to refresh our whole booth. Yay! Star City Stars, that's local. Star City Hockey, yep. Lincoln Stars Hockey. Put that in the booth. This is a Nike tank. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. And this is one of the small totes. This is Diesel. Um, not familiar with that, but... Seven on the back. But, yeah. But what does it say on the front? Diesel. Dieselers. A Gap. Denim vest, those do pretty good. Uh, these are Johnson and Murphy. We're not familiar. We don't do a lot of dress shoes, but, but we'll definitely nice look them leather. up. But they're nice leather. They feel really soft. Kind of, they're soft leather, so they might be good shoes. We don't know. And Jamaica. Jamaica One Love Man. One Love Man. That's a cool shirt. Definitely booth material. This is perfect yeah. stuff for the booth, honestly. Yeah, it is. I don't know how much eBay there is, but for the booth, this is great. Yeah. And our stuff has gotten kind of stale in the booth, our clothing, so it'd be great to just tra change a whole bunch out. That would be. Okay. All right. Should we go to the next tote? Yep. All right. We got the second tote here. I will say, Anthony, thank you, because just the one tote... I think the $30 was a great deal. We appreciate it. We really, really do. So let's see what's in the second tote. We have a Rush hat. Oh, cool. It is, it says crown on the side and it has this crown. I'm not really familiar with that. So we'll have to look into that. It's a little dirty. Maybe throw it in the laundry and see how that comes out. So uh, then we have a RSL. 
Adidas snapback hat. This is in used condition, but it's in good condition. So I'm not sure. Real sock, Major League Soccer. So this is a soccer hat, so that might do well. I don't know. Don't do a lot with soccer, but I know it's really popular. Um, KC Royals hat. Maybe you have to throw that one in the wash. Maybe not. That's not bad. But a KC Royals fitted hat, so that's cool. Definitely good for the booth here, being local to Kansas City, not too far away. Uh, American Eagle. Who snap? Pearl snap. Uh, Pearl snap shirt. Uh, some shorts that Donna wants me to keep, maybe? They're Harlem Globetrotters. Harlem Globetrotter shorts. I don't think they'd fit me. Nope. But they're cool. Harlem Globetrotter shorts. Look at what's next. And then, oh yeah. We have a Harlem Globetrotters jersey. So you have the whole outfit? That's yeah. awesome. Champion brand. Big easy. We have a couple pairs of shoes, a couple pairs of New Balance. New Balance. Some New Balance are worth a lot of money. I don't know which models. I'm not that familiar with them. But either way, these look like they're in good condition. It's a New Balance X70. So whatever X70 is. And these look good. Look fresh nice. foam. New Balance fresh foam. Pretty darn good condition too. Very clean on bottom. Lots of tread left in them. So those are cool. A uh, Patagonia button-down shirt. look at shirt. that. Button-down plaid. Oh, another Patagonia button-down shirt. Ooh, that's nice too. Yeah. Here's some sockets. Oh, wow. I might actually keep these. 12-piece <laughs> <12 laughs> quarter-inch drive deep socket set. So Adidas XL, just an XL shirt. <laughs> Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, that's button down. Nice. Ooh, that's, that's a, a good heavy, one. Thick material. That's, look at look at the. That's nice. A little orange. This is a guest brand T-shirt. That's a cool graphic on there. Uh, another Polo Ralph Lauren. A little bit smaller. Button down. Yeah, a littler one. And then we have another Polo Ralph Lauren. It's one of those Polo Polo Ralph po Polo by Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo. Yes. <laughs> T-shirt. Champion brand T-shirt. Harvard. Harvard. Here's a Kansas City Royals early October shirt. They did have a good run a few years back. They haven't done anything since, but. Earn October? Early October. It looks like it says earn. It does say earn. It says earn October. So Kansas City Royals, that's your job this year is to earn October. Oh, a Hurley dry fit t tank top. Oh, cool. Oh, here's a party shirt. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this Miller Lite button down. Lightweight. What size is fun it? So oh, it's a Kansas City Royals too. There's a little Kansas City Royals. Oh wow! Logos in the umbrella. Well, hold it back. There's big KC in the water. Is there? Oh, there is KC in the yeah. water. Yeah. Uh, and that's cool. That's a cool shirt. It's Kansas City tag, Kansas City Royal tag, and it's an adult medium. How nice. fun is that? That is fun. Champion brand, just like a basketball jersey. Kids like that champion brand now. Yep. Columbia brand That's button cool. down. What size is that? That's a cool shirt. 2XL. Will that fit you? I could just lose a little weight. I could wear that. <laughs> That's nice. That is a very nice shirt. I might keep that. And then a Nike dry fit, another Nike dry fit t shirt. So that has been too. Very good stuff. That's I really a little like bin. it. That's awesome. And we have one more big bin to go. Nice. Donna's going to stand for this. Stand up for this one. All right, what do we got? I don't know. A multimeter. <laughs> Random multimeter in there. So cool. We'll take it. And we got cars. Fancy cars. A Lamborghini, Lamborghini die cast. Lamborghini. What's this one? Like then, uh, another, uh, another Lamborghini die cast. That's cool. Yeah, so that's cool. Those are easy to list, easy to ship there. Oh, yeah. There's a cool Colorado Rockies watch. Very cool. That's neat. And then. I'm not sure these hat things are yours. Hard Rock Hotel, United We Rock. I like that. Ooh. Rick's Cafe from Jamaica. Okay. And a Pioneer hat. Oh. Pioneer. And a Green Lantern hat. Banana Republic shirt. All right. Levi's. Pants. Oh, we got some tan Levi's. Yep. Cool. Levi's always do well. Snap front Wrangler shirt. Nice. And what's this say? 
<laughs> swinger shirt with, with little kids on a swing. <laughs> <laughs> a swinger shirt? That'll be good in the booth. <laughs> yeah, definitely will. And we got a Husker. Husker tank top. New with tag. Women's. Remington. Oh, it's like the gun brand. Yeah, that'll be good too. So the fleece? Yeah, a fleece jacket. Inside out. Zip. Fleece. Oh, there's the Remington hit right there. It says it's a 2XL. Nice. Here's another pearl snap. Pearl snap by Wrangler. Wrangler. Got some nice pearl snaps here. This one is Wrangler as well. Got some Levi's. These are the... Okay, friends, tell me. Well, they're 510s, they're not 501s, but yeah, the tag just has an R on it. It doesn't have Levi's on it, so. It's a little different. Are these stretchy? They got, they're stretchy material, like jeggings or whatever you call those. So anyway, interesting pair of Levi's. We'll check those out. Probably yeah. like a women's brand since they're like that. The skinny women's. jeans maybe. Yeah, looks like women's. These are <clears throat> seven. Addison, Ots, Austin. Seven for all mankind. That's yeah. the model. Okay. So brand of seven jeans with a bunch of holes in it. They must have got fell on the ground and got <laughs> got run over or something. That's hold the, on, let me see the back here. That's the style. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold still. For all mankind, it's got a seven on that little tag there. Okay, never heard of that, but we'll check it out. Another pearl snap, Wrangler. Nice short sleeve, and this I bet is another Wrangler. Let's see. Yep, this one looks to be vintage. Is it pearl snap as well? Oh, it's pearl snap. Here we have a RU Resistol University. It looks like a rodeo brand, maybe. It's Ooh, a, another Pearl Snap. That's Pearl Snap button that's down. That's a Western shirt, yeah. Yeah, a Western shirt. The Fruit of the Loom made in the USA. Fishing is a lot. Fishing is a lot like sex. It's all in how you handle your rod. Minnesota. Oh my goodness. A, <laughs> we have a vintage fishing shirt. <laughs> That's funny. Made Let in the me USA. Zoom in on the picture. Single. Well, it actually kind of has like a jersey thing, but oh, yeah. yeah. That is a vintage shirt out there. That's funny. Levi's Relaxed Fit 550 Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Some cut off jean shorts. That's funny. You got a pair of Adidas, little gym shorts, Under <laughs> Armour hoodie. That's a nice little hoodie. This is a pair of, these look like they're probably, they're Adidas. Adidas uh, compression pants or whatever you call that. So yeah. They're Wrangler. Wrangler brand shorts. Wrangler. Wrangler brand. This is like a stretchy waistband. These are like camping pants or something. I'm not sure. Not quite sure on these. Amber, Amber, Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt. Oh, Bibbers. 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 They're little Bibbers. For girls, I'm women. Confused. Oh, it's a dress. It's a bibber dress? Yep. Yeah, that's the dress. Brandy Melville is what it says. So, never heard of it, but we'll look into that. This is like a just a jersey thing. Fila. Little Fila jersey. Maybe a biking shirt. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. got the little pockets. So, biking a Fila shirt. biking shirt. Crimu? 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 <laughs> you look funny saying Cremue. that. C R E M. I E U X. Never heard of it. But that is a just a button down shirt. Under Armour shorts here. This is a heavy, Ooh, heavy Columbia. vest from Columbia. Uh, I was looking to see if it's made in the USA. It feels like it's old, but it's made in India. But that's a heavy, heavyweight vest by Columbia. And then we have an Arizona button down shirt. And another Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. Pearl Snap. And then here's a Smith's workwear shirt. Sometimes I've sold workwear shirts before oh, yeah. and they do well. And then we have a heavy, heavy sweatshirt. It says Camp 54. This is from Fossil, Fossil brand sweatshirt. Cool. Kind of that Heather orange uh, Under Armour hoodie. That's everything, but that's awesome. So thank you, Anthony. That is a great deal and we will find new homes for all these items. That's right. Okay, next up, I'm going to take you downstairs and 
show you what I'm gonna list. And then when it's all done, I'm gonna show you the listing just so I can show that I actually did it. All right, down here in the basement, you haven't been down here for a while because it's been such a mess and it's still a mess, but not as bad as it was. We got a whole bunch of packing peanuts and we actually took like boxes and boxes of packing peanuts to storage. This has all packing peanuts in it. Uh, there's another box somewhere with all packing peanuts. We got this barrel out of storage because I'm actually going to store packing peanuts in it instead of the other barrel just way back there just because this one's bigger and I'll just scoop packing peanuts out of it because we got enough that it's going to last for a while. Way back when I worked at Pepsi, so that's been almost three years. In July it'll be three years. Uh, I know I work there because I have the box for this from there. Our friends brought this over for us to sell. There was two different kind of cardboard display things and I sold one and the other one got put on this rack and it has moved from the garage to other different areas, but it just keeps sitting on the rack. And you know what? It needs to go. It needs to be listed. It's unique. It's fun. It's cool. And it ain't doing any good sitting on the rack behind me. So we're gonna get it out and I'm gonna list the dang thing. So up here underneath the Cabbage Patch Kids, just set them over here for now up here there is here we go there's snap and if i'm lucky these will be in order and there's crackle they're even in order how fun is that there's crackle and then if everything aligns in the universe this should be pop and there's pop look at that these things have been here for almost probably three years probably has been three years but they're cardboard stand-ups kellogg's snap crackle and pop cardboard stand-ups got some tape on there you know whatever so they're a little little bit of use or something it looks like they were used for a little while but how fun is that i mean those are i don't know three and a half feet tall something like that and i even have that's been sitting back here forever let's go the other way my mess i really want to clean all this up forever i've had this box and this was from a display a pepsi display um for baja blast but i have a flat box that i can put them in put paper around them and actually ship in this and I've just been sitting here moving that stuff around and having it not be listed for three years now. So that's enough of that. We're going to list the dang thing. But before we list the dang thing, I also want to show you the project we have going on in the office. Because like I said earlier, I don't know how we're going to get all this done, but we're going to get it all done. But we have so many different projects going on. It's kind of crazy. All right, here is my office. I don't know, I've, I've shown it a couple times, but this massive L-shaped desk was over here. And last night, moved everything. I got help from Kobe, thank you Kobe. We moved the entire desk around this way. So why do we do that? Let me show you why. This is what I look like on this side of the room. This is what I look like on this side of the room. Big difference, right? Because the windows here, I had two reasons. Number one, when I worked on videos over here, I had the reflection from the window and it was really hard to see a lot of my screen. So now I can work on things and I don't have the reflection. But number two, with the big buyout we're doing, we're gonna have background here. There's gonna be bookshelves and a bunch of stuff on bookshelves. And this is going to be where we film sometimes. We're gonna have bookshelves with things on it and we're gonna have chairs and we will sit in here and film sometimes we still like filming everywhere all over the place but when we want just want to sit and film and talk we can do it in here we're gonna set up an area to film and we really want to do that live we've talked about but I think it's gonna have to wait a couple weeks just to get through this all this stuff going on um, in April we're really busy but March is pretty pretty open but uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the live in before we do the garage sale so I think hopefully like the week after that or something but um, let's go check back in with Donna and wrap this baby up because this is a way longer video than I thought 
It's windy out here. All right. Woo. Woo. We'll come back yeah, in. we'll come back in. Maybe you can't hear us in the wind. <laughs> um, first thing I want to say here before we wrap this up is here is the listing for Snap, Crackle, and Pop, showing you that I <laughs> that I did, did it. it. Yay! Okay, so that, well, I haven't done it yet, but they're going to see it because I'm going to do it. <laughs> wow, hold them to it, you guys. If you don't see right, it, yeah. call them out. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. A lot of going on. Lot long going video. On. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sorry for as long of a video it is as it is, but this, beep, is, beep. this is our life. This is our life. So, oh, she about knocked me over. I'm sorry. Her and her boot. <laughs> her, what a boot. What a boot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, everybody. Say something, Donna. Peace, Steve. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I get that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> she usually does the thanks for watching yeah, and the like and watching. subscribe and all that stuff. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah, share with your stuff. friends, all that stuff. <laughs> all right. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Heart Treasures. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>